Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with a new video. This video is all about a very important CMS of CCTV industry. This is all about GWV Max for PC. So in this video, we will describe you. We will demonstrate that what is GWV Max for PC. What are the what are its characteristics and features for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Only few software are available for Linux. This is available for Linux. And after that, we will go to your practical part. Means we will, we will show you that how you download this this software and how you install them and finally how you configure them to make the camera light keep watching. So what is DW Max for PC? Digital watchdog company has designed and developed software to connect and control the CCTV cameras on PC known as the CMS software for PC. Okay, so this is DWB Max software for PC. This allows you to connect as well as to control the CCTV cameras on PC without any coding and any other problem. So if you're talking about the characteristics, it is the only software, it is the only few software which is available for Linux. Here are the some features like live streaming on any network, PTZ control mean it you are able to pan tilt and zoom. Live image quality enhancement it means it auto adjusts the frame rate according to the bandwidth of the camera, the bandwidth of the network. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom out option for a very focal camera and a PTZ camera, multiple as well as single video support. Support 4, 8, 16, 32 channel views on PC. It is able to communicate if, if the camera, if your setup is audio enabled. Now it is available for Linux. So this company has also designed and developed a sound CMS for Linux to connect and control the CCTV cameras on PC. It is helped to connect the con control the CCTV cameras and your Linux PC. Okay. So now let let move our practical parts. Let's close this. And after that, click on this edit profile. So you should open Chrome browser or any browser and try Google for DWB Max for PC. And here you you, you find on the top of the list my favorite website CCB desk why this favorite because it's not only give you a download it's give you that how you install them and how you configure them so again just go to that go to this option and just scroll down you find the download option for Windows for Mac and for the Linux so in my case I use 64 bit Windows so I just go for that when I click this it start automatically downloading just let the download be finished and keep watching because in this video we will now we will describe you that how you configure them how you configure them and how you make camera live so please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. Now it is downloaded, just click on this and click in show in folder. When you click in folder, here you found your software and after that you should extract this, this file. Just click to extract. 
when you click on stack you get the folder name same as file name so open that folder and after that you find your application file or .exe file or the, or the installer file just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator yes just click on I agree and click install it now the process has been started click on the launch so you get the successful installation message installation successful completed now click launch when you click on the launch you will automatically open the software here is the interface of the software Now just click on this three three dot button, and after that connect connect to click to connect to server. Here you find your where you should log in your server. And in my case, I just change my screen the screen resolution so that it will show you the maximum. Now here you find that this option is clear. So here I should enter my local IP address, the IP address of my server. And after that I should enter my password. Please note that this, this is password of the my server. I just click on auto login okay so when i when i press ok then it will automatically connect to my server there is no need to configure anything it will auto automatically fetch camera if you have a if you have a multiple camera then all the camera on the shown on show source to you to your, to your left side and after that you just drag and drag them to make a camera live. In my case, I have only one camera, so it will give my me direct access of one camera. So just click on the OK and it connect. Just take time and connect. 